Greetings everyone, welcome to Future Press's boss strategy series. My name is Franz, and today we're going to be fighting Velstat the Royal Aegis. You can summon Grave Ward and Agdane to help you out with this fight, and I've gotta say, Agdane is a really, really cool NPC ally. I'll let you guys find out why for yourselves. As far as Velstat is concerned, he's a fairly simple enemy, he doesn't have too much in the way of diverse attacks, but... He's fairly good at chaining them in ways that can be hard to predict. That kick will pretty much instantly break your guard, so don't let that hit you if you're trying to block. I recommend strafing around him counterclockwise like this, because if you do so with the right timing, you'll be able to avoid that hammer swing of his without having to roll. So that'll position you to punish his swing while still being able to dump the most possible stamina into your counterattack. Having said that, this is a fight where it's very important to conserve your stamina so that you have enough to roll away, because Velstat's attacks can be fairly rapid, just as you've seen here with that forward thrust, and he's fairly good at being unpredictable about how he mixes and matches them. When you've damaged him down to about 50% of his health, he'll buff himself, which is what he's doing now. At that point, he'll have a defense bonus if you try attacking him while he's buffing. You're going to want to get away from him as soon as you can so that you don't get caught in his counterattack. However, after that point, you can bait this move. Just get some distance between you and Velstat, and he will begin charging dark energy on his hammer. When he does, just run behind him, and attack him when he releases the Orbs of Darkness. Like this! At this stage, it's extremely crucial to make sure that you leave yourself enough stamina to roll away from him after you've attacked him during his Darkness projectile move. That overhead slam where he chases you, the timing on that dodge is fairly precise, so you have to wait until the very last second before you roll away from it, or else you'll get hit. He can combo up to three swings of his hammer, so if you're thinking of attacking him before a third, wait it out and make sure that he's not about to throw in that third hit and catch you off guard. You can also parry Velstat, and it will stun him for a very brief period of time, but it'll allow you to sneak in an attack or two if you're using a fast weapon, so bear that in mind as well. There you go! Victory achieved! Here's a quick look at this character's stats and equipment. This build is not complete, or wasn't complete when I recorded this video, so the equipment is not optimized, he's using a fairly bare-bones setup, and I didn't finish this until much later, so let that be a lesson to anyone who's thinking of attempting this fight with worse off equipment than this. It can be done, you don't need to be super powerful to beat Velstat here. We hope this has been helpful to all of you. We thank you very much for joining us as always, and we look forward to seeing all of you guys next time.